10,000 years from now, the red supergiant star Antares will likely have exploded in a supernova. The explosion is expected to be easily visible in daylight. Twenty-five thousand years from now, the northern Martian polar ice cap could recede as Mars reaches a warming peak of the northern hemisphere. Thirty-six thousand years from now, the small red dwarf Rus 248 will pass within 3,024 light years of Earth, becoming the closest star to the Sun. It will recede after about 8,000 years, making first Alpha Centauri again and then Gliese 445, the nearest stars. 50,000 years from now, the current interglacial period ends, sending the Earth back into a glacial period of the current ice age, regardless of the effects of anthropogenic global warming. Niagara Falls will have eroded away the remaining 32 kilometers to Lake Erie and ceased to exist. One hundred thousand years from now, Earth will likely have undergone a supervolcanic eruption large enough to erupt 96 cubic miles of magma. The hypergiant star VY Canis Majoris will likely have exploded in a hypernova. As one of the long-term effects of global warming, 10% of anthropogenic carbon dioxide will still remain in a stabilized atmosphere.